Hey y'all, happy Monday. Um, as you can see, we are in the car, running late. I don't like to be late, but I had to get my workout and I had to have a moment to where I was selfish. We are on our way to an amphitheater here in Georgia. They are having like an outdoor movie. It's a free event, something to do uh, that is not costly on a fall break. And I love it because it has a covering over it it is saying that it's well my car is being 72 degrees so i'm hoping that by the time we get there it's not too cold or too chilly because it is shaded it is outdoors but it is shaded um yeah so i did my workout 45 minutes jump roping and um i have my sprite zero in my cup just to stay hydrated i had to pull back out the stanley as you can see um but yeah we're gonna get there well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, the movie starts at 10, I believe, and we are a ways away. So I just wanted to come on and introduce the vlog. Again, my kids are on fall break this week. So we're just gonna enjoy some mom and me time. The older two did not wanna come. So it's just Taylor and I, we're also gonna be meeting with one of my friends and her daughters. Hey y'all, so it is much later from when we went to do the outdoor movie day. We ended up going to Buzzard Coffee. That's my third time um, since the first time that I've been there. And I've been going there a lot during Vlogtober. Interesting. But no, we went and got hot chocolate because y'all, it was so windy out. Mind you, it's a shaded area. So that also helps like block any sun and heat from getting to you but the hot chocolate was so good and at first i didn't see it on the menu to order it and then we found it because i'm like you know do people treat hot chocolate as like a seasonal drink like they do like with pumpkin spice and i'm pretty sure some people do but that's a big business especially for kids when you don't want them to have certain things hot chocolate is the next best thing so since then i came home and i made my food it wasn't it was the first thing that i ate since i had my broke my fast if y'all know i had my hot chocolate which automatically took me out of fasting zone but i was already fasting for well in fact burning mode for a long time so i had got a delivery sunday from the green chef and if i remember i'm gonna try to put some um codes or coupons in there this was what i made and i didn't even vlog it or whatever because it was just like the weather from today just had me so like in my feels and then i just looked at the calendar or like the weather i'm i'm all over the place because i'm so excited or whatever but i looked at the weather and the highest that it's going to be is this upcoming Wednesday. So today is Monday. So next Wednesday, it's going to be a high of 78. But in the mornings, like this upcoming Wednesday, like today's Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to be 39 degrees in the morning. Like, and I push my air back. But um, it's so tricky here in Georgia, honey. You cut that air all the way off and you be sitting up there waking up like somebody pour water on you at, at night. And it don't matter what time, even when I got my heat on, I still have to have my fan on. I sleep with my fan. I don't know what that is. I think from when I was a child, like that's how I would fall asleep um, with my mom or whatever. But needless to say, I made this and it was very filling, very good. It reminded me of, if you have, a sweet green it reminded me of their harvest kale salad but on that one they put like chicken in there so i gotta find and i wonder if they gave the recipe for it but it came with this vegan lemon aioli sauce top tier so now i just want to still continue um continue with how i feel which is very good 
right now y'all the scale is finally starting to move i know i should not be focused on that but i'm back to like doing my routine getting up in the morning doing 45 minutes of my workout i have not incorporated weight yet so i'm still easing into everything skin glowing skin flowing um and i just want to say don't forget to prioritize and romanticize like your nighttime routines I will try to do a video on things that I do to, you know, romanticize my nighttime and my daytime routine. Um, but for dinner, I went to, I did a pickup order from Publix and I got some sourdough bread. I need to go back to that. Remember I was making, well, if y'all follow me on Instagram, um, I was making my own sourdough bread. The only thing is, it's very tedious. Like you gotta have an active starter, so forth and so on. So I got some sourdough bread. For me, I can do either Panera tomato soup or Campbell's. Don't judge me, it's what I like. This is what I grew up on. Um, so that's what we're gonna have. So the only thing I'm going to actually be making is the grilled cheese. I tried to get two different cheeses. The only one they had available was cheddar, I think. I don't know, my kids put this stuff up. Uh, but that is going to be dinner and we're going to chillax after that. Well, I'm going to chillax. I'm going to go ahead and finish watching Power. I just started this last season because social media, TikTok and all that has made it to where I can't even watch a show if I got to wait each week for it to come on. Like, let me know when it's all uploaded. And since it just ended, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish watching. I think I'm on like the fourth episode or whatever. But let me go ahead and take my vitamins clean these dishes from earlier and start my grilled cheese. Now it's the 15th. I know what. Another day of their fall break. I'm just getting back home. I went to go do a Target pickup order. I'll show y'all in a minute what all I got. I also stopped and got my nails done. It was long overdue. I thought that they would be able to just go ahead and refill my gel X set. But you know, any way they can get you to spend more money, they are gonna do it. Because you can actually use gel builder to like refill it or whatever. But they made me soak them off and um, I ended up just going ahead and getting our acrylic this time because even though the longevity, it lasts for a long time. We're in October 14th. I don't have time to keep getting so close either. Oh. I don't got time for that. So this is what the nails look yeah. like. I like this color. I still think that it is very much for appropriate. I'm about to make this California pizza kitchen. I did my workout this morning. I can make um, my cheese. Uh, and I'm about to take my vitamins. So we'll see how far we get. But I was running low on, it's over there, I fell on the floor. Take that up to them. I needed some more of this, Dawn dish soap. Yay. Um, And it says the refill. I got some cleaner, needed some more of this. I love bleach though. I also got some Tashi cereal. If you know, you know, they were two for eight dollars at Target. Y'all, oh, the box is still is not throw down. I um was starting to feel nauseous on my way there. The intermittent fasting, being back into that routine, is definitely making me feel nauseous. I think it's also because I do my workout and then I go and kick into intermittent fasting. 
mainly intuitive eating too because I was already fasting for over 16 hours. But if I'm not hungry at the time, then I'm not going to eat. But I did have a protein coffee. I used my Travana unflavored um, protein powder. And I had my coffee. Now, once I got to Target, that's when the like nauseousness kicked in. And I also think that, you know, sometimes I get motion sickness having like an SUV. I do, normally, I want to say I do fine when I'm driving, but if I'm in a car like an SUV and somebody else is driving, it's a little bit. But it's time for me to do my hair, y'all. Um, so I picked up this product. It actually came up on my timeline on Instagram. And I don't know if y'all ever heard of this, but let me know. I'm trying to do better about the things that I'm putting in my hair as well as for the kids. And I just asked Kaysen today because y'all know I never put like any chemicals in my kids' hair or whatever. And Kaysen has a lot of hair. Like she, all of our hairs put into one is how much Kaysen has. So the last time I had her get a silk press, she came home, y'all, and it was reverted back. So I think that was also because she was like in the um, sixth, fifth grade at the time. She was still in gym, casing sweats in her hair a lot. Like, it just didn't stand a chance. So now that she does not have gym, I'm going to try and do it. Like, give her hair a break from braids. That's always been my go-to. She gets kind of upset. I feel like as she gets older she and she knows how to properly train her hair, she will love her hair. Because, like I said, my hair is naturally curly as well. And I love being able to go between having a curly and going between having a straight. So, I want to trim her hair. The only thing I don't like is how small these products are. Because, you all know, I don't be wanting to go to the store all the time. Like, to be getting these things. But, I'm going to let y'all know how they work. It's called, it's pronounced do. So, it's called the do. And, like I said, I saw someone doing their hair on um instagram and when i looked it up online i saw that they sell it at target this one is for texture hair which we fit the combination of heat prep conditioner so after shampooing your hair you use that i also got the just glaze which is a sick um silkening fluid it says style primer formulated for with heat protectants up to 420 degrees, silk press, and blowout. So I like that. This is what this looks like. And I also got their press rewind. It's a curl retention shampoo. Um, and it says gently cleanses and restores curls with duplex bonding technology for texture hair as well so this also has properties to keep your hair from the properties of heat damage so i'm very excited to see this if this works your girl will have a product um like i said i have a lot of residue in my hair just from you know constantly pulling it back
Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. I am at the bus stop waiting on your good news. I know it's been a couple days since I have last uploaded. However, I needed a break y'all. Like I just started back up working this past Monday. It's Wednesday when I'm recording this and just getting back into my work routine, catching up on things that you know I had to do that wasn't done, trying to still make sure that I'm making my deadlines um, and all of that. So it's been very busy. By the time I get off of work and we're out yesterday, we went to a concert after work um, for Case in School. And I had intended on going to vote. However, you know, for the early voters, if you're in Georgia, they allow you to vote early. Um, the location that came up for me uh, online, when I went there, they had a big note up on the door in yellow saying that that location is only going to be available for November 5th for election day, not for early voting. So I tried to go down to the next town um, thinking that they were going to have late hours like the one that I went to yesterday and it ended at five. So we missed about like 20 minutes. But luckily that location was also at the in the vicinity of where the performing arts center was where the concert was going on so we were right there so when i get done working today um that is my plan to try to hurry up and make it down there to go ahead and get my early vote in uh the lady said that they had it set up very seamless um like set up to where it was like a very efficient routine. You just go in, show your ID, boom, 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 quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I don't, um, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for that. Um, hope you guys are all uh, voting and all of that. I spoke before how to someone how I had not voted since I've been in Georgia. Technically, this would have been my first time that I was even able to vote. So it wasn't that I was just not exercise and my right to vote if y'all know what I mean um but let me stop rambling like I said I just wanted to come on and introduce the vlog wait for y'all getting these to um get to this bus stop I did already make dinner yesterday by the time even we got home the kids did not want to eat Kason said they had pizza after school so we will be having leftovers tonight <laughs> y'all good nieces are in the car I'm surprised Jordan said she'll come with me um, but yeah, because I was already in my bed. You say hi to your aunties. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Jordan thinks she's been from Georgia. I really don't even since the beginning notice. of I don't time. Even notice in it. Honey, it gives country, okay? I and excuse notice. my hair because I have not wrapped it in the last couple of days. And I gotta give you all an update on the hair products that we use. So they good. eat down. You hear Jordan? <laughs> so good we did jordan's hair we did Kason's hair Kason's is still a work in progress i feel like jordan's hair is more trained than Kason's. i feel like we really oh tell us a hi y'all we really relied on the products two different textures you all have different textures different densities and everything um but i ordered the wow dream coat and i've seen like a lot of girls that had similar texture hair to Kason recommend it because the problem is we can get it straight that's not the problem but as soon as she go out in that air honey it's whew. and like i said all of us are natural like my hair will curl back up i wear my not so much while my hair is short i don't do the curly styles because honey they give ice spice and ice spice don't look right on me it don't look right on her but honey that's another day that's another time but yeah, so I am getting ready to try to see if I can make it to go, ooh, 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 go make it to vote today. I know my job gives us time off to go and do it, but I will also be going into the office um, in a couple days, like, oh, that reality just hit. So I also ordered, a, this is gonna be a good vlog. I also had to order some things just to, prepare me for when I do gotta go into the office. I'm required to go in three days, three days a week, two days I can work remote or whatever. I have a meeting with my manager tomorrow just to iron out a couple things or whatever. And then I still have an appointment to go see my hematologist because 
I think I told y'all the last time. Sorry, y'all. I might gotta move y'all down below. But um, I think I told y'all last time that when my gyna, my OB, um, my gynecologist did my blood work. Jeez. I got a thing up here, but I gotta figure out how to hook it up. When my um gynecologist pricked my finger, and I don't know how effective that is. Now I'm sitting up here thinking. See, every time I get on here with y'all, the wheels on the bus be spinning. But needless to say, she pricked my finger and my iron levels were going down instead of going up. And I'm still under the normal range of where they're supposed to be. And my whole thing is, y'all know I was passing out and everything. So that was like one of the stipulations as far as like why I, uh, like my panic attacks and all that. Um, but... I'm gonna see what my hematologist says as far as I pray to God, y'all know I've been taking supplements. I pray to God that I don't have to go through another round of iron infusions because y'all already know it's the process that had them try to find my veins, which is why I had the midline. I still got the mark, and it was like, oh, it'll go away. No, it didn't. Um, yeah, but that's a that's a whole nother story for a different day. But I do have some clothes that I did get. Because as y'all know, I be in my athleisure era, I be in my nightgown era, I be in my robe era around the house. And I really don't have anything that's fitting. Like I feel like my style has pretty much changed. I'm so into like the loose fitting clothes. I'm like, I have not worn a pair of skinny jeans in God knows how long. Like I'm Y'all, we just secured that belt. And when I say we, me and Tyler, she got her little sticker on. I got my sticker. It was a very seamless process. Um, just had to have your driver's license, of course. Um, they scanned the back of it and verify all the information. They even had like a couple options. Like, um, I already did mine. I did like the homestead exemption when I went and did, when I paid my car off. I want to say back in May so that I'll be able to get some type of savings with the rising price of taxes. So um, that was on there and then there was a couple other questionnaires in addition to who you were selecting for different things. So very easy. I'm glad that I got it done. We got here with some time to spare. It is 4.53. The place closes at 5 um, every day. So we just made it and we were not it was a little small line but they had so many booths available that once they got your driver's license you just went into a slot like i think that the only time that you were waiting is while you were selecting your choices and waiting for them to process your driver's license or your id information but other than that it was a very easy seamless process um, now we're on our way home. Kaysen's already there. I didn't expect her to get home so early. Um, yeah, but like I said earlier, I had already ate my dinner. Uh, so I just gotta make sure that my kitchen is closed down. And hold up! Don't hit my car, sir. Like, I didn't have to in place. Like, I'm literally, my car is just about past him. He backing up. Um... Yeah, and then I'm going to go through, because I can't even remember what all I ordered. So, we'll do that when I get home. Hey, y'all. So, I had to redo the try-on haul because I was yapping my mouth. I was talking to my sister and all of that. And the footage that I had, I was holding the camera. You couldn't even really see. You couldn't get, in, you couldn't get into it, okay? So, now I'm back. We're getting into it. This is like my fall and spell corporate edition you know for like going in the days that I go into the office and maybe like a little after work little shink the ding but this is a shirt I love the rouging I love like how it fits I love like this kind of neck I love being covered um just plain and simple long sleeve which I I didn't I don't have a lot of tops so I I like that I like this color y'all know green is my color very form-fitting like i said it's very appropriate for work and you can even judge it up which i chose to do so i had my hair in like a little low bun did a little side part 
put these little earrings in or whatever. Love them, love them down, love them down. So yes, and also, um, so all the items that I got that will be featured in this haul, I will try to link them down below and put the sizes and everything that I ordered because again, I didn't put them on and they ain't even looked. But they're from Sheen and I also have this coat that just arrived today haven't even have not even tried it on but since it's out i'm going to try it on i did get this in extra large i'm um, very top heavy so whenever i buy coats we're going to hope that this fits i usually get a double xl because again i have small arms but a big chest so i like for when it's cold my coat coats or whatever to be able to close here in this section so let's see and everybody needs like a little dressy formal coat. Uh, ah! Why am I petty like this? Like, can we get into it? It comes down to like a little below my knee. Look at this. You need a little dress up coat. You can't be wearing no bubble coat. <laughs> Granted, I do got on socks or whatever. But you need you a nice little bubble coat. I mean, dressy coat. And I got this for y'all, I want to say under $50. I'm going to confirm. But I really think that this was under. And I could have actually, look at my arms. My, I could have went down. I could have got away with a large. But I am still trying to come down uh, from recovering from my surgery. So I was like, let me go big. Cause I don't want to be returning, honey. That was gonna hurt my pride and ego. But I could have, I could have went down. So I'm gonna try on the next outfit. Now, other than like workout pants, like loungewear pants, stuff that does not have to be buttoned up, I've never bought pants from Sheen before. So these pants that I'm putting on. They give you like corduroy vibes, which I absolutely love. They are high waisted. I'm gonna tuck, no, I'll tuck my shirt out. So you button it up. I do like the fact that it has like this detail here. You can put a belt on. I didn't want to change my shirt just to try on the pants, but I got these in navy blue. I like that they're wide leg very comfortable i haven't worn a pair of skinny jeans all year round or whatever i just think that i'm out of that like i like to i like to wiggle 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 you know i like to be comfortable so i definitely like these pants i will be keeping these what i did do is i ordered duplicate of some things i must have been searching on the site adding it multiple times to the thing so i will have to return some items this shirt was one of them got twice so i will be <laughs> returning one of them. all right so the next is this long sleeve dress it's kind of fitted like at, in the top area but then the bottom kind of is very loose so it kind of gives you like the little tapered off look effect i like it the details have like let me see can you see it like these little lines going through it. Very comfortable, very light, but still will do the job during the cold days. So I like this and you can dress this up, you could dress it down. I still have in my earrings from the shirt that I just tried on, but you could put on some Sambas. I, I plan on keeping this very light, very casual. All right, <clears throat> so now we have on this chocolate brown dress. Again, another low sleeve, long sleeve. Definitely has like the breathable material, but still thick enough to like keep you warm. I love the fact that this has pockets. It gives you the illusion that there's a hood there because you know how like the hoods have the universal pockets where you could put both hands in at the same time and hold your own hand if you need to. But it just has like this wide, kind of turtleneck detail and I love that I love that and it's a long dress comes down to about my ankle and I just love this color love 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 this color and you can add silver gold details gold details like you could dress this up 
another thing you customize it to how you want to wear it love that now this is a sweater that i already had and as you can see i put it on because this dress is sleeveless this is probably the least favorite for me out of the things that i got to try on just because it's not flattering to me um once this area goes down some more i think that it probably will give but i saw this also on the anthropology site it has like a little split that comes to like your thigh area but again you can dress it up however you want if you live in the southern states example georgia you're probably trying to figure out how do you dress for lows of 43 and in the afternoon highs of 84. this is how you dress for that i'm losing lighting y'all but i put on this black skirt that i got from there as well it's considered like the little slip skirt and i already had the skirt but i believe i got it from there as well i will try to link it if i find it I got it a while ago and then this top it's a shirt it comes to like about here i have it tucked in for right now to go with this uh skirt it kind of gives you like a little terry claw feel vibe going on um stops to like about right here based on the size that i got and it has again like the details that's going here i i, I, don't, I don't know it just really gives the things that it's supposed to give for like a low bun bust down if you get what i'm saying but i really like this i think that this could be dressed up it could be dressed down you could wear it with some jeans i just put it on with my skirt because the jeans is going to be the next things that come out the work and then i just that concludes the try on haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry for the delay i'm gonna try to figure out a system to keep you back on track but i have been appreciating all the love and support everybody reaching out this is like our little family so i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment let me know what the best thing that i got in this haul was um i did get some other things that technically don't pertain like i got some stockings um oh goodness now the focus is out i did get some like stockings and stuff like that um things to keep me warm during the times that it is warm um i even got the little sweater socks let me show you all that because i ain't giving you all the full i'm only giving you all the oh i love these like i'm thinking about getting like a skirt to go with these to wear out